So, okay, now we're recording here, and um, basically what we're going to be doing is I'm going to show you guys how to do the front and the top. So, um, now in our last couple ones, I showed you guys how to do the entire side of the car. Uh, now we're going to do the front. So, what you want to do is go where we left off, which is as you can see here on the side, we have our side completely mapped out and ready to go. Now, what you want to do is switch to the front here, go to vertex mode, and select all your vertices in the front. What you're going to do is you're going to move them so that basically they line up. And what you want to do is start right here, select, move all your points so that they correspond where, you know, where they go. So you're just going to grab one move the next one. The reason why you got to do this is because if you don't it's uh, it's going to be a real pain in the ass. Um, no, seriously because the... Uh, no, I understand it's just a weird custom. Oh yeah, no, I swear all the time. Uh, make sure that you know you map this out all the way down to the bottom because if you don't it will really be tough on you. And you can kind of tell if you're doing it right because you can use one view. Here, let's say I'm going to turn this one to my front view, F3, so I can see. And um, I'll show you guys a real quick nifty trick here. Um, you notice that you can see the back view. See, this is the back view right here. What you want to do is go over here and one, get out, edi uh, out of edible poly mode. Um, everything's frozen, so we got to unfreeze all. Select your front view and basically move it up. So now all you see is the front view instead of the back view only. But you got to be careful because you might still grab something up the uh, the the back view. So um, always you know double check. Have one view here, like right here, where you can uh, see how the back view um, is coming together. So now as you can see here that the front view actually looks pretty decent and um, set to go. Um, you're going to have to use all your views to kind of make sure that everything looks right. So for instance, right here, you can see that this point aligns and there's just a little bit of the front left. So um, what I may have to do is move this back just a little bit and try to align it a little bit better. and. Uh, basically do the same for all the left. Okay, so now we're ready to do the front. What you're going to do is you're going to grab the edge mode, uh, grab a vertice, and come over here and loop it. So that way all your you know edges are um, all together. Then in the top view here, what you're going to do is you're going to, I would rotate this just a little bit and then holding shift, drag out your first selection here. And you'll see it kind of happen here. Um, you might have to do some editing here. See, like right here, you're going to have to do some editing. Uh, just grab these two and bring them down. Um, then go back to edge mode and just rotate this just a little bit. Grab, uh, go to your move and grab out pull out the next piece and rotate it just a little bit. Maybe move it back just a smidgen so that you can kind of see where you stand here. And then just realign everything again. You can do a lot of realigning. Um, it's just kind of part of the nature of this experience. Um, then, you know, once again, bring them out again. This time you're going to need to rotate it a little bit more. Don't go too many, you know, don't try to make too many polygons, okay? You need you need your corner to be as round as you can get it, but do it with the bare minimum. Um, that way it's easy to, you know, fix and align later. Um, now just basically just grab and bring out and just keep rotating them. The reason for the rotate is to, you know, keep it 
front in the front try to keep it as uh, straight as you can so that by the time you get to the middle of the car you're pretty much completely flat like right here this should be completely flat and what you'll end up with is that right there now I usually do this I usually go and uh, switch to polygon mode and grab these middle ones right here and just delete them the reason why I just delete them is because well one um, I don't really need them and actually you can just grab these ones right here because I'm gonna use a separate model to kind of map that out and then just move your vertices down where they go and just line them and what you'll see is that as you uh, finish this up that by the time it gets to the middle it's pretty well aligned which is nice now that right there needs to come back in a little bit Looks like I got just a few more to delete here. And then realign these right here. Now as you see here, at the front here, at the top, this point right here, this point's actually going outward. We don't want it to do that. So what you have to do to make it so it doesn't do that is go do it in this point. And then in this point, you have to realign it. And then back up here, you have to realign it here too. I guess that's the bottom, yeah, that's where the uh, bottom of the car is. Now all you gotta do is just pretty much grab these ones right here and do the same thing. And just, it's, this is all really just, you know, taking your time. Yes. But you know what? You know what they say about things that are time consuming? Uh, they make better they're better. All right. Mr. O, you're awesome. You inspire us. You don't have to say it. It's okay. okay. I'll just tell myself that. <laughs> okay. And uh, at this point, what you'll end up with is after you real, you know, align everything here, and this bottom part, it really sucks to have to align. Um, notice here, if you're looking here, that the front is now looking correct, except for this lip right here. It's kind of looking nasty in here. Let's just move that in a little bit. There we go. Um, I'm just going to delete this mouth because I'm just going to create the, its own surface there. And basically, this is what you end up with. And that's it. And that's your front, if you take a look at it. Now, it takes a little bit of time. You're probably going to screw up on it a few times. Perfectly fine. Um, when you screw up, you get better. All right, so that ends the front.